So if you have more than $1,000 in your checking account, make sure you make these five moves. Mark that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. So the first step is literally getting this book, right? So I kid you not, like the Simple Plan of Wealth was one of the best things that I've ever actually read because it gave me actually like a financial freedom roadmap that they never taught me in school. Like for example, when I first saved my first thousand dollars in my checkings account, I saw that number and it was cool, but I didn't know how to grow it. And I didn't know what was like, that was my point A, I did not know where my point B was. And that was essentially retiring young and early and never having to work ever again for the rest of my life. And this book simply simplified everything, right? It talked about this fire movement where there's literally people that are financially independent and retiring early based off of things that aren't even like millions of dollars. Like did you know if you even just had $700,000 invested, for example, in an index fund, you could literally pull out about like, for example, two grand a month out of that. Especially if like, for example, you travel around the world and you live in like a cheaper place like Thailand or Bali. Like for example, where I interview some of these people on my podcast, like this 11 year old girl they're trying on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars from profit. The cost of living here is like very low. Like you can literally live a good life. Like I think I spend like between me, my girlfriend and my two dogs, less than $3,000 a month for like a really epic lifestyle, right? Um, but the biggest thing is understanding the concept of here's where you are, point A, you have a thousand bucks in your checking account or savings account, where are you gonna actually be? And little do you know, you don't need millions to actually like live a life where you never have to work ever again. And getting this book, especially if you have already a thousand dollars, is one of the best things. You can literally just go to Amazon, type in Simple Plan of Wealth, and when I read this, completely changed my life. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, insert financial disclaimer here, but just getting this book alone, I kid you not, like I'm curious if you already read this book, let me know in the comments below. This demystified so many things in my mind that I wish they told me sooner or later. That way I wouldn't have chased, you know, for example, like thinking that I needed tens of millions of dollars to never work ever again. And this just gave me peace of mind that I realized, wow, you know, you actually only need a couple hundred of thousands of dollars invested correctly and you also never have to work ever again. And then you could just choose to, for example, go and start a business, but that way you don't have the stress of worrying if it's gonna succeed or fail because you already have you know, the plan, the plan B, right? But the first step, if you are going and having $1,000 is you need to create that game plan. You need to create that game plan because if you don't know it, you're never actually gonna go ahead and succeed. The second step that I would actually do if I had $1,000 is to have a why, right? What is the reason why you wanna, for example, make a million dollars? What, what is it you wanna do? Um, where do you wanna go? Do you wanna help your family? Do you wanna get a house? Do you want to not even get a house and you wanna live out of a van? What is your reason why? Because you need some type of strong motivation other than the money to go ahead and grow what is in your bank account. So after the first step of getting this book, the second step is finding your why. Like for example, for me, I was like, okay, I don't wanna be in a lot of student loan debt. I don't wanna see my family struggle. I don't wanna live a life where my future kids have to go through the same hardships that I did. I wanna give them a life that I never had, right? And because of that, that was like my why that allowed me to start growing my capital. The third step, once I actually managed this book, is I need to figure out a way to grow my income potential. right? And you can see, you can literally download 77 free ways on the cheat sheet below of all the ways that, for example, uh, we've made money online in the past. Some of which you could see, one business, we literally went from zero to $8,000 in 30 days, and another one we went from zero to $5,000 in 30 days to $1.6 million in sales that first year, which about 30% profit margins, to another business, which is all profit. It's like a digital real estate business where it pays us 35 grand to 46 grand a month, right? But all of these ways are just like included here, right? For you to actually grow your income, you need to number one, learn, have, have a strategy, the first step, Number two, have a reason why you actually wanna do it. And number three, start actually increasing your earning potential. Increasing your earning potential like crazy so that, for example, you start making more money. One of the easiest ways that I've done, and literally this is just one of the ways that I started making 100 bucks a day, is literally just flipping things on eBay that you don't have to buy until after you made a sale. Like check this out, this guy has sold this 50 times for 614 bucks. Right, but this exact same product exists on Walmart for only 499 bucks. So you can see that this person already made three grand profit with this 
for one product that he never had to buy until after he shipped it. So this is something that literally anybody can do in their spare time, doesn't take any risk at all because eBay is free. And literally what I did back in the day was just take pictures on Walmart, post it on eBay, see if I would get a sale. If I would get a sale, I would take the customer's money, $614, and their shipping information, and then I would literally buy it from Walmart at a lower cost. So you could see that $499 and $614, I only bought it after I already made the money. So it was very low risk. I just kept on doing it until I started making $100 a day. And when I started making $100 a day, that's when things started getting really, really, really good. The fourth step to do once you actually do this is get a credit card, as weird as it sounds, and buy this with a credit card, right? Because if you were gonna buy this naturally, like for example, like most people get a credit card and buy stupid things. Like my friend got a credit card and he bought a TV that he couldn't afford. I'm like, that's a stupid thing. Like, especially, why'd you do that? Like, you, you didn't have the money yet, you used a credit card to get that TV so you could watch Vampire Diaries? Like seriously, why, right? That's like how you are not supposed to use a credit card. You, you, don't, you don't use a credit card to, for example, um, buy things you don't need to impress people you don't like. But here, what I ended up doing is I got a credit card because I knew that if I could get some type of spending history and it shows that it like pays off very fast, it would start increasing my credit card score. Now, even though this isn't like, for example, financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, this is something that I knew was important if I wanted to buy a house in the future or if I wanted to, for example, get out a loan in the future. The banks needed to know that when I borrowed money from them, I would pay it back right away. Right? So literally what I did, the fourth step was getting a credit card because I knew that if I was selling something for $614, think about this, I, ha I would have 614 bucks already in my bank account. I could buy this right away from the money that's in my bank account. But if I pay this with a credit card, right? The $499, multiple things would happen. Number one, I could instantly pay that $499 off with the $614 that I technically made from eBay, like almost instantly. Right? Another thing that I could do is I could get travel rewards points for free because when I'm spending $499, I could get 2% cash back from my credit card or I could get you know free rewards points where I could travel for free, right? And I started realizing that, oh my God, I would even just do this to get the free points. Because think about it, if I'm spending $500, say I make one sale a day, $500, I'm getting 2% cash back. That's essentially like $10 free every single day that I make just by literally going through a credit card. Now, I'm not spending extra money, I'm not paying any interest on it because I'm paying that credit card off right away, right? But if anything, I'm getting thousands of points. Guys, this is literally what I did to live in Vegas for 30 days. I lived in Vegas for 30 days and I lived in a hotel that I paid off for with Travel Awards credit card points. When I started traveling, I would fly business class for free because I put the expenses on a credit card, a Travel Awards credit card, and I'll pay that credit card off from the customer's money. And we just did this over and over and over again where now we literally have hundreds and thousands and millions of Travel Awards points where when the world opens up, we're gonna actually go ahead and use it. And the fifth and last thing is to literally get this book, Profit First. Now this is another thing that really changed my life. It's transforming your business from a cash-eating monster to a money-making machine. Essentially the main thing about, the main thesis about this book is you wanna separate all of your accounts. So my biggest problem in the beginning is I just would have one account. And from this one account, I'd have my business expenses, my living expenses, my investment expenses. And when it would grow, I would find stupid ways to spend the money in that bank account. Which is why no matter, even like for example, how much money, money I made here in this year, I ended up losing a lot of it because I saw the money in my bank account. So my mind was just like, oh, I gotta spend it. I gotta invest it. Right, I got to 10X my goals, so I would just invest in a bunch of these other side projects and businesses and companies, and they all failed and I lost a bunch of money, right? But what this taught me was to put a bucket for each specific goal and to automate it. So twice a month now, it's all automated, right? So I have multiple accounts, right? One account is the main business account, right? Now this business account is where all of the income goes in. Now, twice a month, the income in this sporadically goes to different accounts, one of which is my daily expenses account, which is in a different bank account, right? So literally, I get paid this much, in my only daily expense account, every single month I get paid $3,000. So think about this, you, you see these lifestyles, you see people like hanging out with like multimillionaires and doing cool things, like guys, I literally live off of less than three grand a month, right? Literally less than three grand a month with my girlfriend and my two dogs, right? Living here in Bali, right? Three grand a month, that's all, all it is. So from the money that I make, 
from all this, as crazy as it sounds, from this main business account where, for example, one business alone, you know, we're pulling in, uh, like I said, 30 to 40 grand a month, that's going into this account. I'm not spending that money. I'm literally taking three grand and putting it into a separate bank account and we're living off of that, right? What else did I go ahead and do? Um, we're pulling a good percentage of it and we're putting it away to like the brokerage account. So we're, auto we're automatically investing, like for example, into index funds. What else did we do? We also take a portion of that and we put it into a separate account where it's just ready for taxes. Because the worst thing as a business owner is once tax time comes, you guys have to pay all this money and you're like, wait, I thought all the money that I made was all this money. No, no. Did you know like all the money that I made, not only did, you know, I only get like about 30% profit margin in this, not only did I end up spending a lot of that money to stupid business ideas that didn't work, but I also had to pay a fraction of that to the government right, in form of taxes. So the money that you make isn't fully yours. Like, I, I, like when I have a kid, I already have like this plan. Every single time like we do work together and I'm gonna have my kid do like these weird jobs, I'm gonna go like super rich dad, poor dad on him. Say I pay him like 10 bucks. I'm gonna literally pay my kid 10 bucks and then take $3 away. And the kid's gonna be like, why are you taking money away? And that, I'm gonna be like, that's what the government does, so you gotta learn this skill soon, right? This is, this is what a tax is, I'm gonna go take a tax review, right? I'm gonna give my kid 10 bucks, I'm gonna take $3 away, so he's gonna have to live off of seven. And when you start understanding that that's like a big part, you create a separate bucket for that. So that's literally what this book ended up teaching me, right? Have a business, but have these separate accounts that you go ahead and for example, live off of. That way you don't spend everything and when you accidentally look at your brokerage account, you realize, oh my God, I've actually saved more and invested more than I actually thought of. If you automate it, you take away your emotions from it. And this book, like I said, completely changed my life. So these are five ways, guys, and if you wanna learn 77 free ways to make money online, fast, download the free cheat sheet below, as well as if you wanna find out how to go and qualify for some of these events for free, um, check this out. This was, in, um, this was in Thailand, this was in Bali, this is in Vegas. I'll put all the links in the links below or maybe we might talk about it in this week's free workshop below. As well as checking my podcast of all these really successful people that make a bunch of money online, check it right here, here. Hope you guys see you guys later, woo!